hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a roll-up banner for restaurants so let's get started so here i'm going to enter in inches so now enter 13.6939 by 27 point 347 inches okay now leave the resolution at 300 and you click on grids so this is our area of designing so now select your right angle Apply a round shape corner more Okay, what I did is to duplicate it then hold down my alt key and reduce the size now Hold down your shift key while you drag it left and right. Then reduce it this way. Then select the two of them, apply horizontal and vertical alignment. Then change this color for identification. Then select the two and duplicate it by dragging it there or you press Ctrl plus J on your keyboard. So the first one now, I'm going to rotate it. Then position it around the end. Then select the second one, now rotate it, drag it up, then position it in a better place you would prefer. Then I'm going to increase the size of this one and bring it down so that it will be it will come closer to the other one then this one I'm also going to increase the size so that there will be no too much space or gap between them Then I'll reduce it this way by dragging it down using my arrow key. Then apply adjustment to this one. Then position it this way. Okay, now I'm going to select the two of this one again, then increase the size and rotate it. Then place this one over here. Then make sure this one, then you position it in line with the other one. Then I will leave it like this. Okay. Now 
the next thing I'm going to do now, go back to your first, then to the last, and you group it. Then select the, your background and draw a rectangle here. Then I'm going to copy the color code I'm going to use. Then Ctrl plus C to copy. Then click here. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to use this orange color. Then copy this second color again. Select your right angle tools. Then you draw from this area then to this area. I'm going to leave it this way. Then drag it down so that it will not cover the one at the top. Now the next thing again, then hold down your control key while I'm going to select the first print angle there and you click. So you see a line moving around it, then go to your select, then you apply this expansion. Watch it carefully. Then now I'm going to erase this area. Then also select the yellow or the orange color. Then go back again to select then and expand it just like the way I did to the first one. Then you erase it here. Then Ctrl plus D to select. So you can see a space now. Also, I'm going to apply the same thing to the rectangle that is the one at the top. Then go to select again, modify and expand. Then expand it by 20. Make sure that you rasterize the one you want to erase. All right, so you can't see it there because of the color. So the same thing we are going to apply to this one again. So here I'm going to fast forward. Okay, so now I select my lesser two, then I'm going to cut out the rent angle which carry the orange color.
okay so then i'm going to apply the same thing to this ox blood color select your lesser two again then i'm going to select from this side then to this area then you combine it and you delete So now I'm going to select this right angle then and apply adjustment to it. Then rotate it. It's okay like this for now. I'm also going to cut out the first background there. Then you combine it together, delete. Then select this one. I want to zoom in so that I'll not cut an unwanted area or watered area. So you can see now, then also this one, I'm going to select an area where I'm going to cut out, then I'll select from this side. Then back to this side, so that it will go in line with the first or the top rent angle then i'm going to cut it then combine it then you delete oh sorry for that i did not select the particular one i want to cut out then now cut it out then return your selection to So that is it. Then I'm going to select this to then bring it closer. Then select this one, select the second one, then use your arrow key to bring it closer. Use your arrow key to apply the adjustment. Then this one, click on it. Then select the second one and you drag it closer. Also apply adjustment to this one a little bit, not that much. So that is it for now. So the next thing I'm going to do is to import my images. Then you drag this one and scale it out. Rotate it. Okay. Now you come to this place hold down your alt key and you click or right click and you create a clipping mask so there are two ways you can do it having done this one i'm going to fast forward here because after this one we still have another more tool to cover up so Stay tuned.
So now we are done with the clipping mask. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Then apply this color. Then blend it. Okay. So I'm going to change this color to orange color and then I will leave the rest. Then begin to copy the test. Then select and paste the color you copy. Scale it out. Then I'm going to change that font again to Josephine Sans. Then duplicate it by pressing Ctrl plus J. Then paste the one you copy again and change the color, I mean the font. Alright, so circle like this. Now select another rectangle and draw it here. Apply a round shape corner.
So, all right, here we are done with the most of this one. So, let us round up this one while we go on the second and the third step. So we are done with this one, then highlight and group them all. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then I will turn this one off. So take a look and wash it carefully now. How I'm going to change the color. So the first thing you select this one, then pick your pocket to then you paste the color, then you click on it to apply that color which you copy. So, now again, so I'm going to copy this color, hold down your control key. Now first, you have to apply the color here, hold down your control key while you select them, apply the color here. Hold your control key, you select this one, you apply the color. So when I hold my control key, you will notice that the cursor will change. So when the cursor change, that is to select the object or the layer, then before you click on it. So now again, I'm going to change this one. So this one, there is no need for the pocket tools so only to change the color normal so now that you understand those ones do the remaining one i'm going to fast forward as you can see so to change the color So this is how we have the second banner which you see on the thumbnails. So I'm going to group them again. Then turn this one off and duplicate it. Then you turn the one you duplicate on. So I'm going to select this layer. Then copy the color code. So this is the third thumbnails banner, I mean the roll-up banner you are seeing. So then paste the color you copy, then you click on it. Then hold your control key while you select. Make sure before you select an object, you hold your control key. Then you click on it, the color will change. So now I'm going to copy the second color code. So and did the same thing as we did to the previous one. So stay tuned and watch as I fast forward. So that is it. All the resources are made available in the description below so that you can make use of it. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share.